And then... Uh, I don't know. I always think of that song, Go West. When go West. Say go Wesley. Now, Magnus played very strange yesterday against Report, but he stopped the bleeding. Losing all of his games, terrible. It was a Petrov, and Magnus played the unusual knight to d3, confusing the audience. And then queen e2, queen e7, knight f4, threatening knight d5. In fact, if it was white's move now, knight d5 would win the game. Game's over. So black has two ways to do something about this. Knight f6 or c6. For some reason, knight c6 is also a move. I guess because after knight d5, we have knight d4. Then both sides resign. But he played c6, which is more natural. Now, unfortunately for me, Magnus played the engine move. So what did white play? Remember, it's unfortunate for me. Um, unfortunate? For me. F3? F3. That's the engine move. Knight goes back. D4. And this looks like white has nothing, but white's actually a little better here. Bishop F5 threatening the pawn because the queen's pinned. C4, that's explosive. And white's a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. King F2. The engine doesn't like King F2. And now says black is fine after knight B4. King F2 is a weird move. Queen back to D1. And the engine says black's doing fine here. And he long castled. Not the engine choice, but reasonable. Knight to D3. D5 is the engine choice. C5 is the engine choice. Then they trade everything. And in this position, black played the best move. And again, it's not a move a lot of you would consider, but it's rapport. So that's the first thing he considers. Knight E4 check. God damn. Engine approved. Fe4. De4 attacking the bishop. Bishop e2 is the only move it says. And he played queen f6, which is a mistake. The engine wants him to play queen h4 check. And the idea is after here, here, this is a better version. This pawn here is bad. It should be here to keep the white king safe. Here it gives black extra options. But he played queen f6. Bishop e3. Bishop takes c5. Rook f1, and he's like, I'm up a piece. Check, which is a blunder. King g1, and black's just down a piece here. And I think in this position, uh, it wants to play bishop takes d4. And then, you know, black gets some pawns for the piece, and white's king is a little funny. The engine still prefers white, but not like winning, winning, just mm -hmm. like, you know, plus one or something. Yeah, I mean, I'd want to be getting off that file. Yeah, after this, it's just winning because we're attacking the bishop. This is a very strange move. He must have miscalculated something. Okay, so it looks like you can play bishop d6 threatening this. Mm -hmm. And that's why he played queen h4 check. But white, white just takes the bishop because it's not mate. And king just walks away. Right, yeah. So I guess Rapport misunderstood this position. He's down two pieces now. That's a bit much. <laughs> and all right, down two pieces. So. Rapport ain't going down like no punk. Yeah, he went down like a punk. He's down two <laughs> pieces. He won one of his pieces back, but you know that's it's not good enough. Hey, Finn Bongo. Ninety-two. Queen H three forcing a queen trade. And then Rapport resigned because he's down a piece for nothing. So very poor game from Rapport. And that's what you need in this tournament is you need a little luck. you got to play people when they're playing a bad game and beat them and then draw the rest of your games, get plus three, and get second place. Unfortunately, sometimes Magnus tries to take things into his own hands and forces the action. And here... Black forced the action with this peace sack, yeah, which wasn't absolutely necessary. And then um, Magnus calculated the defense well. That's actually one thing Magnus is quite good at when 
somebody sacking material and attacking him, he's good at finding the only defense and then being up material. It looks good when it works. When it doesn't work, then you're like, why do you give all his pieces away? So he tried and he failed miserably. The lesson is... Never try. Never try. 4,000 viewers. Yay. There was a marker, hey, hey Fen Beingold. From <laughs> Fen Beingold. That was a half point for Fen. Mm -hmm. But not really. Now let me see. 9 to 9 30. Karen's talking to me about karaoke. I think I'm too tired. I'm yawning. 